The Rona has impacted everything, including crime. Do you know why the Rona was raging across the United States that murders went down, drug deals that went down, all types of crime went down except one, domestic abuse, which skyrocketed. But here we are, we have these protests, we have people who are coming out of their houses and it's summertime, so guess what? Crime is about to explode. The Rona didn't just impact regular business, it impacted criminal business. And now, gloves off, we about to go back to business, and you can expect crime to skyrocket. You can expect the introduction of the Hunger Games. This people are going to start doing because see right now this is well it will be july really soon and this is a pivotal month because this is a month that the eviction stuff expires this is the month that the unemployment additional benefit expires this is a pivotal month and this is the first month in the chain of economic carnage because the real damage is going to start once unemployment runs out. You don't get unemployment forever unless Congress, like, let me give you a few scenarios. If what I think is going to happen, because there's a good chance this can happen, but you never know in an election year, that the Democrats get the Senate and the presidency. At that point, you will see stimulus checks, stimulus programs being pumped out of Washington like you ain't never seen before. However, if the GOP manages to hang on to the presidency in the Senate, you won't see these stimulus packages and things that are happening. You won't see an extension. You will just see a fight over everything. So just depending upon which one of those scenarios happen is what the future predicts because 2021 is going to be the year of eviction and foreclosure. And right now you have so many people who are on the brink of financial collapse. You know, they're being supported by this additional 600. They're being supported by these stimulus checks. But when that disappears, you're going to have the hunger games. When that disappears, you're going to have chaos. You're going to have people out here in the streets. And with that, you're going to have the skyrocketing of criminal activity, all types of criminal activity. And once again, I know that a lot of folks here who don't like it when I put the guns up and stuff, I really don't care, but you need to get yourself a gun. You need to go ahead and get yourself a gun, get yourself a concealed carry permit, permit and start going to a range to learn how to use your gun because during this global reset, those who don't have are going to become very, very desperate. They're going to do whatever they need to do to get some money in their pocket. They're going to do whatever you're going to see a part of America because you thought these riots were wild and the people looting and stuff. You thought they ain't nothing. They ain't nothing because you're going to have probably another social movement that has nothing to do with George Floyd or Rashad Brooks. You're probably going to have another social movement that's going to have to do with being an American and being able to live in this country. Because right now, it is a temporary band-aid on a huge, huge problem. You got people, they don't have money to live here in America. They can't pay their rent. They can't pay their bills. They You're going to see so many desperate people out here. You're going to see so many people doing something strange for a little change because they're going to be desperate. They're going to be at wit's end. And hopefully that you will not be part of the marauding wave of criminals. Well, let's let's make no mistake about it. These folks are going to become 
criminals. They're not going to be like someone in a bad situation. They're going to become criminals. They're going to do some crime. They're going to do something illegal to get some money and it's going to work. And then they're going to do it again and again and again. And one of the simplest crimes is B and E, which is breaking and entering. You're going to see people robbing homes like you have not seen before. Like, um, I don't know all of the details of this couple in, I believe it was St. Louis that were outside of their house with guns, you know, cause it, it's like, I haven't really researched it, but that is going to be kind of, kind of common. You're going to have folks, homeowners with guns protecting their home. This, this is, this is what it's going to be. We're going to have a real version of the Hunger Games. We're going to have a real version of. It's like it's going to be like some whacked out game show. Survival of the fittest. Darwin's law is going to come into play. So I'm just saying, if you're watching this channel, go ahead, get yourself ready, get you a weapon, get you a, you know, a gun, get you a pistol, preferably get yourself a few set of pistols and start using them, start going to the range, learning how to shoot and become comfortable with your weapon because the coming days are going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy because right now there's someone who was formerly middle class. They got laid off, then they got evicted, then they were living in their car, then they got really, really desperate. I forget this movie, but it was about this white dude who got driven to the brink of murder because he just had bad thing after bad thing after bad thing after bad thing happened to him and he just lost it. He just snapped. There are many people who are really good people right now who are going to become a lot of bad people in the future. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm here to tell you that's what's coming because there will not be another stimulus package in July. They're going on vacation July 3rd. They don't come back to July 20th. So they're not even going to get around to voting on anything until August. And preferably from a political timeline that works for Trump because then the checks go out in September, September, October, election time so it's really be fresh in the minds of the american people wouldn't even be surprised if that was the original intent in all of the foot dragging installing and wait and see stuff because we we have about 50 something million people unemployed right now and millions of businesses who are going out of business and it's just going to be really really bad and then with the rona which made Greg Abbott of Texas, who was just like, ah, it's just some, it's just a, a joke, made him slow his roll, made him pull back, made him make some changes. And in Arizona and this weekend, which is a holiday weekend, the beaches of Florida are closed. So we're just going to see a higher level of desperation than we've ever seen here in America before probably since the great depression we're going to see those type of levels now depending on which side of the aisle you on if you want some relief you're going to hope that the democrats win if you're all about you know the, the state the rule of law in america then you know you want the the, the uh, republicans to win but i'm going to be real interesting because i'm going to start doing a series of videos on this the impending election and start talking about it because we're getting close enough where the analysis and the polls, because you know, right now the polls don't mean nothing. It's too early, too, too early. And also, you know, until Biden gets like a 30 point lead, a 40 something point lead, anything can happen because Donald Trump is like the Teflon Don. Impeachment? Ha 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 ha. Racism? Ha 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 ha. Nothing sticks to me, bounces off to me and sticks to you like glue. That's what he's been doing since he's been in office. So we're going to see if these tactics still work for the Donald. But go ahead and prepare yourself for 
And what's going to happen if you live in a socially, uh, economically disadvantaged neighborhood, you're going to see this stuff first. I mean, it will be in this neighborhood. You know, we already have a lot of break-ins and stuff and we have people, but it's not going to be to the level that you would see in a poor neighborhood where the hood preys upon the hood. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be nuts. And this is already baked in because even if the Democrats get in and provide additional stimulus, it's still going to be too short, too late. We're still going to have people who are going to be really desperate, who are going to, I mean, I lived in the hood. I know the mentality. I know how these people think when it's like, hey, man, my stomach grumbling and the only thing between me and to stop my stomach from grumbling is to go across your head. I'm going to go across your head. It becomes just that elemental. And that's what we're going to see. We're going to see the survival of the fittest. We're going to see crazy stuff that's going to happen. So just get ready prepare because even if the democrats win in november we have all of this built up tension because i predict that if the democrats win that there will be an extension of the unemployment benefits well they will reinstate them because i feel that the unemployment benefits are going to expire and they're not going to do anything for them because of the situation where you had people who were making more money on unemployment than they were working which was a uh, an unintended consequence of, you know, them just putting this bill together to get it out to help the American people. So, but to some degree that $600 per week was kind of like a form of universal basic income, which I feel will be revisited strongly if the Democrats win in November, if they win the Senate and they win the presidency, I fully expect to see some form of universal basic income to emerge from that administration. But go ahead, be careful, prepare yourself, get yourself a weapon, learn how to shoot it and be ready. And hopefully you will never, ever have to shoot your gun. You will never, ever have to use it on anyone. I do remember a time when I had my warehouse and I was in my warehouse, it was like 1130 at night and there was all kind of commotion going outside and I go outside and there's these four dudes and they're just like going through stuff. They're going through the trash and everything. And I was like, y'all need to leave. And all four of them started simultaneously. They didn't even talk to each other. They all just started walking toward the door. And I had a SIG 357 on me. And I just reached in my pocket, did that. And they were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And they got in their car and they left. No shots were fired. I shudder to think what could have happened if I didn't have that gun. I wonder what could have happened. And the gun I got out of the storage units because I got that SIG, I got a Smith & Wesson 9mm, and I got another gun. They were all in the bag. But... Better to be ready than to have a situation where you're going to wish you had a gun. That's all my message to you guys. Check out this next video.